Sansei Seafood Restaurant and Sushi Bar. It's a household name here in Hawaii and in other parts of the world as well. And now its creator has taken us into a new culinary direction with the DK Steakhouse. Let's go meet the man himself, DK Kodama, to find out how he's achieved all his culinary success. How are you, DK? Long time. Hey, how you doing, man? Nice, nice to, to see, see you, guy. All I'm right. doing well. What an array of sushi. Wow, these are some of our specials, man. I think you'll like them. Yeah. So should I start it oh, with no, this? Oh, no, not that one. you got to try this one. This What's is our that? new famous moi sushi. It's awesome, man. Moi, some some shiso, some Maui onion, some gobo. Oh, you're going to love this. you got to try this one. You know, your stuff's always so ple pleasing to the eye. I know it tastes good, but it's always meant to be so beautiful, too, yeah? Well, we eat with the eyes first, bro. You know that. And then after that, we eat with our mouth. Oh. <laughs> now, you moved your restaurant location to here in the, in the Marriott. How do you like it so far? And what was the reason for moving? You know, we, we like it better, you know, because uh, we're more visible to the tourists. The tourist industry is here. We're in Restaurant Row. It was, there wasn't as many tourists that came down to the, to the site, although we had a great local support. We still have a great local support here, and we thank all the locals for coming here as well. But locals, driver business, and the tourists, you know, make it as well, so. Well, let's go dig into some of these. Let's go grab a table. All right. So DK, seeing that you have restaurants across the state, and some of them island away, a plane ride away, what's the toughest management challenge that you face with those uh, locations being so far away? When the airlines went under, that was a hard challenge because we had to budget all our airfares, mm -hmm. okay? So we took less trips. But because of technology, we could do it by email, yeah. you know, by faxes, by phone, you know, it was, it was incredible, it was easy. But labor is always the toughest issue. And because we don't have, you know, they can't train at this one restaurant. Right. You know, we have to go out there and train, train them at that restaurant there. So, but labor is the biggest issue. You're known for your sushi and your avant-garde, real forward, real progressive way with rice and the Japanese stuff. But you decided to take this foray into the steak uh, business. What's that been like and why that challenge? I mean, I just love steaks and this has just been so good for me because I get to have a steak the way I want it. We dry age all our steaks here on premise, probably the only steakhouse in town that dry ages on premise. You know, some people really want it ripe. You know, we can do it 30, 31 days and more. And some people want it young. We can do it right off the bone. We got 1800 degree broiler that just sears the outside. Therefore, keeping the juices inside is still nice and tender and juicy. So like sushi, a great steak was kind of like art. Is that kind of how you did it? You know, I thought it was just throw it on the grill back home, you know, and just do it like that. But no, there is, there is a, a secret to good steaks, good flavor. 